is going on everybody Jackie Terry once again and today's video we're gonna talk about progressive overload and muscle confusion today once again it's Jackie Terry and it's Bobby Terry back at it again we've been doing a lot of free weight training but it's also good to work on machines as well when you're working on machines you don't have to use any balancing or stability or assisting muscles because the machines already balance the weight for you so these are the perfect exercise for strength training because now all you're doing is just depending on strength because the machines already balance the weight for you which doing machines coinciding machine exercises in your workouts highly beneficial because when you do do the free weights now you'll be a lot stronger. Machines also isolate different muscle groups such as your chest, triceps, so all these muscle groups are isolated without any balancing or stabilization or assisting muscles. So it's going to be a lot easier to control the weight. One benefit of it is also you can easily set the weight on the machine. You can change the weight at will. So machines are very important in your strength training and your muscle building factors. So I will combine free weights and machines together for essentially the best results. Once again, if you want to train with Jack and Terry, hit me up on my messenger. We'll get right to it. Once again, Bobby Terry Sr. is seeing amazing results. He is developing strength and he is developing muscle endurance. One thing about these exercises is when we start off, we do pyramid sets. So we start off at our lightest weight, we get it for reps. Normally at the light weight, we're gonna start off, we go over the 10 rep range. So we're getting it for about maybe 10 to 20 reps, maybe even higher. But however, the next set, we go higher. We up the weight by at least 20 pounds. So the weight essentially keeps going up. So we're constantly confusing that muscle. Now as the weight goes up, the reps are gonna get a lot shorter. So the weight gets heavier. So as you see, as when the weight went up, Bobby Terry Singer was able to get at least about seven to five reps, which is the perfect rep range to develop strength. So we want to always keep that sticky point. So we always want to touch that heavy weight in our exercises to stretch that central nervous system and to get a lot more muscle fibers activated. Sadly, it's something you cannot do with light weight unless you are doing high intense reps going at a very fast pace. Only then you're just going to be building muscular endurance in your cardiovascular system. So we always want to touch on that heavy set we always want to get that heavy set in because the more you can touch on that heavy weight the bigger and stronger the muscle is going to grow back as you've seen in my other workout videos before we become a lot stronger when we come back to the gym this is a fact as you see once again uh, we are applying the rules of pyramid sets and progressive overload to our workouts so we start off light and then we immediately go heavy after the heavy set is done and I can see Bobby Terry's here can't get any more reps in the heavy set. We go light, cut the weight down by at least 10 or 20 pounds each time. So we start off with a pyramid set. Then we slowly go down to our reverse pyramid set until we get to lighter weight. So we go light to heavy weight. Then for the reverse pyramid set, we go heavy to light weight until we get down to the final rep. This is gonna cause the ultimate muscle confusion within your body and it's gonna cause a some natural amount of muscle gains within your body. 